Almost a quarter of a million women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer each year. More than half will die within five years of their diagnosis. Most die because their cancer develops resistance to the most common form of treatment, platinum-based chemotherapy. Most patients respond well to treatment at first, but many relapse within 18 months. Eventually, almost all patients will relapse with a tumour that has developed resistance to platinum-based therapy. The treatment works by damaging the DNA of cancer cells in a way that triggers programmed cell death, a process known as apoptosis. But platinum-resistant tumour cells use a variety of tricks to fight back. Some cells learn to repair damaged DNA. Other cells pump the platinum out before it does any damage. Researchers are trying to find ways to overcome this resistance. One approach is to block the mechanisms that cells use to fix DNA damage with drugs such as PARP inhibitors. Another drug, called trebectidin, binds to DNA and damages it directly. A second approach is to target the tumour's blood supply, rather than the tumour itself. Drugs can be used to prevent the growth of blood vessels in and around the tumour, starving it and stunting its growth. Researchers also hope to recalibrate the immune system to overcome platinum resistance. And vaccine trials are already underway, aimed at priming immune cells to recognise and attack cancer cells. After decades of limited improvement, there is finally a sense of optimism. Our growing understanding of ovarian cancer and the mechanisms of its resistance to treatment may soon be translated into real benefits for patients. Thank you.